And here we are with week four of the FFL season with our first game between the Royals and the Vipers. The Vipers win the toss and they elect to defer, so the Royals will start with the ball. Let's get this game underway. Here we are with the first play from the Royals in this highlight film. Quarterback Steve Beloga, he hits Ben Frederick and he gets a nice run out of this play. Royals still with the football here. Quarterback Steve Beloga makes this nice pass to Logan Krieger and he gets a nice run out of this play. Royals still with the football here. Quarterback Steve Beloga he makes this really nice pass and a great catch by Jake Jones, but he's just short of the end zone. Royals looking to score here. Quarterback Steve Beloga he makes the pass attempt, but it's swatted away by Ryan Tarrant. Nice play. Royals on fourth down here. Quarterback Steve Beloga, he makes a pass attempt to Jake Jones. It's tipped in the air and it's incomplete. And it's a turnover on downs. The Vipers get the football. Vipers here with the football. Quarterback Alex Preen makes a pass to Ryan Turan. A nice catch by him on this play, but he fumbles it and gets it back up. Wow. Vipers couldn't do anything, so the Royals have the football back. They have Jerry Groom now in at quarterback. He makes this pass to Steve Beloga, and he gets a nice run out of this play, but it's stripped out of his hands by Ryan Turan, and the Vipers get the football back. Wow, defense on fire today for the Vipers. Vipers here with the football. Quarterback Alex Preet, he hits Ryan Turan, and he gets a nice run out of this play. Vipers looking to score here. Quarterback Alex Preet under some pressure. He airs it out, and Mitchell Kramer catches in the end zone. The Vipers score first, and it's now 6 to nothing, and the extra point does not go. Royals back with the football here. Quarterback Jerry Groom, he makes this nice pass to a wide open Steve Beloga downfield. Royals here with the football still. Quarterback Jerry Groom, he makes a pass attempt and it's picked off by Mitchell Kramer and the Vipers get the football back. Vipers couldn't do anything, so the Royals had the football back. Quarterback Jerry Groom, he hands it off here to Johnny Mack, a back pass to Logan Krieger, and he gets a very nice run out of this play. Royals still the football. Quarterback Jerry Groom, he hits Ben Frederick, and he gets a nice run out of this play. Royals still with the football. Quarterback Jerry Groom, he hits Connor O'Boyle, and he takes it all the way to the end zone to tie this game up at six. Royals choose a two-point extra point attempt. They get it. Johnny McAdara gets it in, and they take the lead eight to six. Vipers couldn't do anything after that, so the Royals have the ball back. Quarterback Steve Beloga, he makes his pass to Ben Frederick, a very nice pass, and he gets a nice amount of yards on this play. Royals quarterback Steve Beloga under some pressure. He decides to take it for himself. He absolutely trucks Alex Preet of the Vipers, and they get the first down. This was a tough call, but they did get it. Royals still with the football here. Quarterback Steve Beloga, he hits Jerry Groom. Jerry Groom getting through all the defenders with the spin move, as you can see coming up here. Here it is, boom, with the spin move, but Alex Preet eventually takes him down. Some nice moves there by Jerry Groom. Royals still with the football here. Quarterback Steve Beloga, he airs it out to Connor O'Boyle. He catches it, a great catch and a great pass, but he's just short of the end zone. So the Vipers have the ball back. Vipers are here with the football. Quarterback Alex Preet, he makes this nice deep long pass to Mitchell Kramer. He catches it, but Johnny McAdara thinks he's out of bounds, and he scores for the Vipers to take the lead back, 12-8. Vipers choose a two-point extra point attempt. Quarterback Alex Preet makes a pass attempt to Ryan Tarrant, but Ben Frederick with a nice defense on this play. Nice stop. Royals looking to bounce back after giving up that touchdown, and boy do they ever. Quarterback Steve Beloga, he airs it out to Ben Frederick. Ben Frederick absolutely mossing Mitchell Kramer of the Vipers, and he takes it all the way to the end zone to reclaim the lead for the Royals. Yeah. 
Royals choose a two-point extra point attempt. They get it, and it is now 16-12. to Vipers back with the football here. Quarterback Alex Preeti makes a pass attempt to Ryan Tarrant. Ben Frederick on the coverage again, and he stops him again. Nice defensive effort again by Ben Frederick. Vipers still with the football here. Quarterback Alex Preeti makes this nice pass to Sammy Hull, and he gets a very nice run out of this play. Viper still with the football here, looking to score. Quarterback Alex Preet, he makes a pass here to Eddie Hargrave. Eddie Hargrave getting a nice amount of yards, but thinking he's down, but both his flags are on. I even stopped recording, but he's up, and he's free, and he gets it to the end zone and scores for the Vipers. Royals back with the football here. Quarterback Steve Beloga, he makes a short pass to Logan Krieger, and he takes it all the way to the end zone, and the Royals take the lead back 22-18. to Royals choose a two-point extra point attempt. Quarterback Steve Beloga, he makes a pass attempt, and it's picked up by Alex Preet. Alex Preet having a straight way to the end zone to get two points for his team to cut it to a two-point lead for the Royals, but he cuts, and he gets stopped. Wow, what a dumb move. Vipers back with the football here. Quarterback Ryan Tarrant, he moves up but steps back. Not really sure what to do. I don't think he's supposed to do that. But he decides to take it for himself, and he gets a decent amount of yards out of the play. Royals still with the football here. They make a pass to Logan Krieger, and he looks like he's going to take it all the way in the end zone. He does, but his flag falls off midway through, so it does not count. Royals here with the football still. Quarterback Steve Beloga makes a pass attempt in the end zone, and it's picked off by Alex Preet, and the Vipers get the football back. Vipers back with the football here. Quarterback Alex Pree, he makes his pass attempt to Ryan Tehran, and it's picked off by Johnny Macadera, and the Royals get the football back. <laughs> Royals have one of the weirdest plays we've seen. It looks like a real football game with offensive linemen blocking. Johnny Mac is the running back here, and he fumbles the football once. He picks it back up, but he somehow gets a lot of yards out of this play. This was an odd play, but... Hey, it worked. Royals still with the football after that crazy play. Quarterback Steve Belogne makes a short pass to Jeff Turpak here, and he takes it all the way in the end zone to score again for the Royals. It is now 28 to 18. Royals choose a two-point extra point attempt. They get it, and they make it 30-18 to in the fourth quarter. Vipers with not much time left in this game trying to possibly score again to make this lead a little smaller. Quarterback Ryan Tehran, he makes a pass here to Mitchell Kramer, and he gets a nice amount of yards. Here we are with our last play of the highlight tape. Quarterback Ryan Tarrant, he hits Jordan Shear. He doesn't get himself in the end zone, so the score is final. 30-18 to Royals. They advance to 2-1, and, and the Vipers fall to 1-3. and three. Stay tuned tomorrow for scrimmage highlights of the Desperados and Widows. The Desperados, if you didn't see, had to forfeit their game against the Widows. They did not have enough players. They fall to 0-3, and the Widows advanced to 2-1. and But they still played a scrimmage. They took some players from the Royals, and there were still some nice plays. That will be up tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. And now, time for some JBC cam. Mac, you had some great plays in this game. I can see that you're very sunburnt, all right? Yeah. And I don't know, you're just like, 
You were doing good. You were doing good. How did you feel about today? I mean, it was a pretty f***ing good game. Yeah, it was a good game. I was able to go against the lighter kids, so you could yeah. stiff arm them, but... Yeah. Oh, God. I, do I love Ryan Turok? Um, I want that fly. I want that. I love Ryan Turok. Can I be honest with you? That Ryan Turok kid? He kind of sucks. Yeah, he kind of smells. smells like shit. Worst, The worst trash talker in the world. Get out of here, Jeff Turnpike. Anyways. Hey, I'm out, baby. I hate Jeff Turnpike. We got this shit next week, right. baby. Well, Desperados are up next. I don't know, hopefully. <laughs> Let's go, baby! What's up, Terry? I'm so sick of this woman behind the camera. <laughs>